free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying out its prayer. Why are we so ashamed to be alive? Break the chains and our freedom's lost its ache. Ah yes, the yellow cake. We all knew it was coming. The yellow cake is by far one of the most disgusting guns ever put in this game. It absolutely tears everything up and it is super super fun to use it's crazy that the cov weapons in general were not used like at all but now with this one weapon coming through it is now deemed the best weapon in the game so it's something being the best in the game i figured let's make an entire build around it and i'm going to tell you right now guys this build is absolutely disgusting if you want to get through the takedown with ease or just anything on mayhem 10 this is definitely the build for you now as always my builds are located in my discord channel Channel if you would like to download them link for that will be in the description so if you download the bill enjoy the video or find it helpful in any way remember to drop a like and subscribe to the channel it really helps me out and i truly appreciate it but with all that being said let's get right into the build all right so getting into the gear as you can see this is a very very complicated build uh it might take a little bit to understand everything and what's going on but trust me we can get into it and <laughs> i'm just messing with you guys but obviously we're using the yellow cake it is our main weapon for this entire build uh you might be wondering why i have an emp5 right here this is simply just for movement speed because obviously heavy weapons make you move slower and this is just going to be your main thing of movement speed i'm going to swap to it this isn't even a mayhem 10 emp5 i am only using it to move faster but this essentially right here is a times two variant with an anointment we get 300 increased damage when enemies are above 90 percent health this paired with this build is just absolutely disgusting and you'll see why but for the gear down here it actually does help out a little bit to know what's going on so i have an old guy right here where we get an accident with 50 percent bonus radiation damage uh radiation damage is going to be a huge theme of this build obviously so we're getting 20 percent bonus radiation damage because the old god is that's what it does then we get 25 percent elemental damage resistance which is also very good but then the other two parks on the shield where we get more max health and we have 15% drop of health booster. They're literally pointless for this build. That is because we're going to be using something like the Cupper's Deathless right here. So when we melee an enemy, we're getting ammo back. Plus, it's also reserving our health to give us 100% more shields. But since we're going to be kind of playing this like a sniperish build, we're going to be sitting back because if you don't, you're going to die to the yellow cake with its, all of its explosions because it's ridiculous. But as you see on this artifact, we have 30% more grenade damage, 33% area effect damage, which is essentially splash damage. And then we have 40% magazine size, which doesn't matter. So the only thing we're using this is the area of effect damage. And I guess maybe the grenade damage a little bit, but not really. And then we have a phase darker right here where we're getting 29% more splash damage, plus 25% weapon damage, plus 30% grenade damage, splash damage, weapon damage, makes the LK keep them even more dumb. And then for the grenade, we're using a fish slap or an axe gun, we get 50% bonus corrosive damage, which is very good for things like the takedown, obviously. So this... It actually is going to do melee damage if you don't know what the fish slap does now since it's doing melee damage you also have this to proc your cut purse artifact so now we have your melee your grenade and your slam can also proc your cut purse artifact which is going to help really well with one of your guardian rank skills if you have this come on and slam so you could just at your peak height you can slam and you're also going to get ammo back and the slam actually has area damage so you're getting a ton of ammo back if you hit a lot of people but if you can't slam don't worry melee and grenades is way more than enough especially with something like the yellow cake to get your ammo back and if you didn't know they actually just buffed sdu slots for rockets i don't have my max quite yet but you can get it up to 51 rockets which is actually crazy so all of this right here as you see we're doing increased damage with the shield we're doing increased damage with the class mod we're doing increased damage with the artifact and then the, the grenade right here is also giving us ammo back. That is essentially all the gear you need for this build. And getting into the skills, this is where stuff can get a little interesting. But we're going to be using ties that bind with stillness of mind and the Blight Tiger action skill element. Now, 
we're putting five points to do harm so we're getting more axe still damage based on the rush stacks we have so we're using phase or we're always gonna have max rush stacks and with ties that bind the link targets are actually gonna take more damage to do harm then we have five points of valent tapestry right here which might seem a little crazy to some people this is essentially gonna give us a lot more status effect chance which is really really good on something like the yellow cake because not only does the yellow cake do an insane amount of damage and it also does an insane amount of damage per second as you see the base damage of this gun is 44,000, but the status effect damage is 30,000 per second and there's already a 30 percent chance so essentially with valent tapestry you're always going to be applying this radiation right here and it is absolutely disgusting and next i have three points of transcend right here to get 38 percent more accuracy and 27 percent more critical hit damage accuracy is actually very good for the yellow cake so what this is going to do you're going to tighten the spread up of all the yellow cake orbs that it shoots out and it's going to make a just central area where it just explodes and does the same amount of damage now i have two points of restless right here because i had to get down to the bottom i know taking restless is not the smartest thing to do when using something like the phase zerker but the other two right here don't matter at literally at all and restless actually will give a small benefit compared to these two now we have one point in the center right here to buff our sinless mons so essentially they get locked in the air a little bit longer which is very very good then we have three points of labor right here to apply a 25 percent debuff to whatever our axis skill hits now when i'm saying axis skill hits the chain targets actually counts as hitting so all the chain targets take 25 percent increased damage then I have three points in Wrath right here to get 20% longer damage, 20% more after popping Axe skill. Very good Amara skill. Then three points in Awakening right here to get more Rush Stack effectiveness. So we're getting even more damage to do harm. And then even more status effect chance of Valent Tapestry. Then one point in Remnant so we can create an orb that's just going to do a stupid insane amount of damage. Especially with something like the Yellow Cake. I have seen this Remnant orb do like... 900 plus million damage it is actually kind of ridiculous and that is with the corrosive element on like flush targets it is a little nuts of how much damage the remnant warp can do with this build then i have one point avatar here to buff our rush stacks by 10 and we can pop axel twice for cooldown so since our rush stacks can buff by 10 we're going to have more rush stacks to be getting with the phase zerker which is going to buff our damage from do harm and our effect chance of violent tapestry even more now going to the next skill tree, we have three points to set of hands above for handling and accuracy. Again, accuracy is very good for something like the yellow cake because uh, it's going to tighten that spread up. And the handling, obviously, since it's a heavy weapon, handling is going to make the gun just play a little bit better. Now, in our mayhem modifiers right here really quick, we're taking speed demon so we can move quicker every time we get a kill. Speed demon is a very good mayhem modifier to have and because just moving quicker is very nice. So this pair with speed demon you can actually just move around the map like if it was not even a heavy weapon but now we're putting five points in anima where we get more satisfying damage and duration and the reason we're taking this is because of the yellow cake this is going to buff that status effect damage a little bit plus the duration an insane amount so now not only are we applying the element all the time with violent tapestry we are now making that thirty thousand damage do even more with something like anima and that status effect damage alone can just destroy everything. If you saw my other video in the Wotan fight, like literally the status effect damage itself can just take its shields off with ease. No problem. You don't even have to shoot the boss. Like it's crazy, crazy good the amount of status effect damage you can get out of this thing. But then we're putting five points of tippets to buff elemental damage with 30% to 20% more shock damage. Uh, this is just very good on Mars skill. More damage is always nice. Then I have one point illuminated fist to buff our melee damage of 75%. Now, cool interaction with the illuminated fist that is actually gonna make the fish lab do corrosive damage. Now, this doesn't really matter whatsoever because they don't scale melee damage or grenade damage with the mayhem 10 modifiers, which kind of sucks, but hopefully that will be fixed soon. So I can I can see in the future when this gets fixed, where our melee damage is gonna scale plus our grenade damage is gonna scale. The fish lab grenade is gonna be really, really good because this thing already kind of takes chunks of people health out it's not an insane amount but it can chunk a little health down and on top of something to pair it like our phase zerker right here and our deathless to get more splash damage grenade damage i could imagine this just being ridiculous but then i have one point jar here to buff our damage by 15 percent when we phase grasp the target that is the only reason we're using it because our gun never has to reload since it's a cov weapon it only overheats then three points in the discriminant to make our bullets ricochet. Now this actually can ricochet the yellow cakes projectiles, 
and it is absolutely crazy when it does you just start seeing yellow cakes flying everywhere especially if you get the thing to go down to where it shoots out four but then you since you have times two you're shooting out eight shots and the bullets are just gonna ricochet everywhere if they all proc obviously and it is a little crazy then last go treat we're putting three points of personal space right here to get 36 percent more damage the closer you are to an enemy so whatever damage you're doing we're just doing an additional 36 percent of whatever that was it is a very very good amount of scope for three points then i have one point root to Roz, one point clarity i said get down to the next skill right here which is arms deal and we're getting 20 percent more splash damage at 40 percent splash damage reduction the only reason we're taking this is for the splash damage itself so we're getting even more damage with the yellow cake Root to Roz and Clarity are literally doing nothing because of the Deathless, but we had to get down to Arms Deal. So that is the Yellow Kick build. This is absolutely disgusting. As you see, everything we just went over, the amount of damage you're gonna be getting is just crazy good. Confidently be able to one-shot every enemy in the game, especially with something like the Anoint on it. I didn't go over the Anoint too much, but when you phase harass a target and they have max health, you're essentially just getting 300% more damage, which is gonna guarantee the one-shot. And then with all the other perks where you're getting more damage with the ties that buy them, everything else is gonna get one-shot. Everything is gonna explode. You can have the time just shoot the gun out ties the bind and it does everything for you especially with the ricochets ricochet and more explosions it is crazy crazy good and then we're also getting more corrosive damage due to forceful expression and black tiger so for things like the takedown we're just getting a stupid amount of damage and you can just one shot the valkyrie squad like you can immediately get them into their immune phase you can one shot wotan half the time if you have it lined up and the damage over time itself can straight up just rip wotan shields off easily plus the damage over time also can just mob as well too like literally if you apply that radiation which you will be doing all the time with Valent Tapestry, the dot itself just will kill everything. So if you've been getting destroyed in Mayhem 10 and you want a build that can destroy it, this is definitely the build for you. It is very simple. It is very fun, I must say, and it is super, super effective. But like I said in the beginning of the video, this build is located in my Discord channel if you would like to download it. The link for it will be in the description. So if you download the build, enjoy the video, find it helpful. Anyway, remember to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, and I truly appreciate it. But that's going to do all for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.